Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today we're going to be checking out the Pelican Cases Protector Series case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. I know I said I wasn't doing any reviews anymore, but Pelican was nice enough to send this one over a while ago. My apologies to them for forgetting to do it because I forgot all about it. I got busy with Christmas and New Year's and work and all that kind of stuff and I completely forgot about it. Also, you have to pardon me if this review is a little sketchy because I'm a little rusty. It's been a little while since we've done one of these. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Pelican protector case for the iPhone 5 and 5S. You can pick this one up over on Pelican's website as well as many other online retailers. Um, list price is $39.95 and it's available in the black I have here as well as white, teal, red, and a gray orange color. Cool beans. Without further ado, let's go ahead and crack it open and check it out. I'll try not to make this, I'll try to not make this one of these incredibly long, 15 minute long winded videos that Tone likes to make, because let's be honest, I do that a lot. Most of my videos tended to be rather long. Inside the package, you're going to get a little brochure showing you a whole bunch of stuff different stuff that Pelican makes, not only for the iPhone, but as well as bags and backpacks and the iPad and a bunch of other cool stuff, as well as a little instruction card telling you how to install the case onto your iPhone 5 or 5S or whichever version of the 5 you may happen to have. Cool beans. And then also included, of course, you are going to get the case itself. Apparently I have forgotten how to open case packages. There we go. It hasn't been that long, Tone. Come on, dude. Seriously. And then, of course, you are going to get the case itself with a little cardboard iPhone inside of it. To open it up, you're simply just going to kind of pull it apart. It snaps together. I found it's easier to uh, pull the case apart if you kind of pull out on the outsides a little bit. kind of pops it loose as you go around the outside of the case. Just pull out a little bit, and that kind of pops it off. One of the other awesome things about Pelican cases is uh, they do offer a lifetime guarantee on this sucker, which is kind of cool. Not a whole lot of companies out there offering lifetime guarantees on their products. Um, if this ever breaks while you own it, they will replace it, which is pretty darn awesome. Um, you don't get those kind of warranties a whole lot. Inside the case, you're going to find like uh, an elastomer type material, which is basically a you know shock absorbing rubber. Uh, kind of material on the inside and then on the outside as well as the uh, you know rim around the edge of the front bezel is kind of like a thermoplastic kind of material so like a polycarbonate so you know nice and smooth on the outside it's going to slide in out of your pocket really easily and then you have this shock absorbing material you know elastomer material on the inside for shock absorption so without further ado let's go ahead and put the phone inside there to install it simply set your phone inside the bottom just like so and then you can see these plastic ridges around here with little indentations around them all the way around that's where you're going to snap the other piece of the case in place all the way around um, i did find this somewhat difficult to install onto your phone the first time um, it's a little tricky getting all these things to snap into get into place once you get it kind of going it kind of pops together much easier it is it helps if your phone stays in place as well that would certainly help cool beans and then just kind of again like I said pull out before push in a little bit around the edges kind of a little bit just sort of push in with your finger there a little bit that seems to kind of help it pop into place just like so all the way around and there you go it's installed on your iPhone 5 I do have a tempered glass screen shield on my iPhone 5 right now and this does work just fine with tempered glass screen shields as well um, it's a little snug going around and kind of see it kind of pulling apart here a little bit but it never came apart on me it stayed together just fine and uh, it doesn't seem to lift the screen shield anywhere so it does seem to work just fine with tempered glass screen shields let's go ahead and take it a take a look at all the cutouts and ports and so on and so forth here on the side you do have a generous cutout for your vibrate switch uh, this case is pretty thick around the edges being that you know it's, it's kind of an extreme conditions case um, and it's designed to with you know withstand impacts and so on and so forth so it's you know a little bit thick around the edges but there's a generous cut out there for the vibrate switch and even with my big honking fingers um, I can still reach it pretty darn easily so there you go the volume uh, up and down buttons are covered provide a nice click 
tactile feedback when you press them. Um, they work really well. Same thing with the sleep wake button, also covered. Does provide a nice tactile feedback when you press it, though. It does require a firm touch, though. Um, it's not something you're just going to tap and it's going to come on. You, you have to give it a firm push. Uh, but it does work really, really well. So uh, moving down around to the bottom, you have a single cutout all the way along the bottom for your speaker, microphone, and lightning port, and headphone jack. So there you go. Again, you can see the kind of the, uh, the bulk this adds around the phone. But again, you're getting pretty major impact protection. Um, I would feel pretty comfortable. I wouldn't really be too worried about my phone if I dropped it, even onto concrete while using this case because um, it does have quite a bit of uh, shock absorbing properties built into it there. So there you go. Cool beans, that is pretty much it. Uh, around, moving around here to the back, you have a pill-shaped cutout for your camera, microphone, and flash. So that works all just fine. I didn't notice any issues with flashback or anything like that. So if you're the kind of person who is hard on your phone and you drop it a lot, maybe you got some of those butter fingers like some people have, um, this would be an awesome case for you uh, to go ahead and, and use. Um, the impact protection here is fantastic. And being that it does have the uh, you know carbon, polycarbonate uh, built into the uh, shock absorbing thing, thing um it slides in and out of your pocket really easily is what i'm trying to say and uh you know it doesn't stick in your pocket or anything like that it doesn't seem to attract a whole lot of lint around the edges of the screen or anything either uh, my fingers are horribly oily and my screen looks terrible but there you go cool beans thanks to the very awesome people over at pelican case for sending this one over to me for review thanks to you guys for watching the throwback review where tone comes back for one review thanks for watching Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you around. Cool beans. Thanks for watching. Rock on.